So I previously done a video on the mellow slides from Crocs and honestly I was very very surprised with these I thought they were probably the best if not the best pair of slides that Crocs could make because it does feature a really really nice a light ride technology in the midsole and you do have a really nice soft feel on feet however crocs ended up releasing this pair and i wanted to give it a try because i heard that this was actually more comfortable than the mellows and i was like i, I don't know how that could be because you look at the shoe it doesn't look anything crazy but i'll tell you guys this shoe delivers man this is a really comfortable pair of slides and this is the echo slide so i wanted to give you guys a video and kind of compare both of these together some things i like and dislike about both of them but hopefully you guys will enjoy the comparison so let's go ahead and get into it so we'll start off with the crocs mellow slides again and just so you guys know the sizing is a little bit weird on this model which i think probably hurt some of the reviews uh, on these on crocs website so this is actually a size nine men's normally i do up half a size like this is actually a size 10 this is actually a size nine but when you look at them side by side they're almost the same exact size. So they kind of mislabeled the Crocs Mellow Slides in my opinion. The size nine fits me more like a 10. Uh, so for those people that have tried these, like just know that the sizing is like that. And they do recommend on the website to go half a size down. These retail at $50. And then the newer versions of the Echoes here retail at $60. So do you get 10 extra dollars worth of comfort in the Echo Slides? I mean, yes, I think you do. It is softer and squishier on feet, even though it does feature the same technology in the midsole which I honestly find a little bit interesting because I'm actually squishing the midsole side by side and you do have some more flexibility in squishiness in the echoes than you do in the marshmallow joints over here. You don't actually see that squishiness though on the echoes because it's encased in crocs light on the outside of the shoe so there's a dual density foam on the echoes pretty much the same setup as the echo clogs which is basically the clog version of this shoe kind of the same outsole and stuff but crocs light on the outsole firmer material basically like your everyday crocs those are all crocs light that's what the shell of this one is including the encasing over top of your foot but then the light ride and the midsole is just super super soft and i feel like the echo is softer than the marshmallows because the crocs light is a little bit thicker in the echoes than the mellows it's interesting because when you look at them side by side it's like yeah it looks thicker, it looks more rugged and stuff, but you don't think that translates to more comfort and it actually does, which is a, which is a kind of a fun feat. Another reason why I think that these ones might be a little bit better than the Mellows is if you're looking for something that has more durability. Because you do have that Crocs Light outsole versus that hybrid Light Ride in the Mellows, the Mellows don't seem like they're gonna be as durable as what we already know the Crocs Light is. Just from having Crocs, the, uh, the foam actually endures quite a bit even though it is just like a foam. Another key feature of the Echoes that the Mellows do not have is they have the holes in the upper here for gibbets. You could add your own gibbets and your own flare to the Crocs uh, Echoes here versus the um, Mellows don't have any options for that. Obviously they made them a kind of smooth and there's just no way to actually attach a gibbet to anything on here. Which honestly if you don't like the gibbets and stuff and you just want it to look more sleek then obviously the uh, the mellows are going to be a better option as well as you save $10 to look a little bit more sleek. But if you like the customization and the ruggedness of what the Echoes offer, then the Echo is definitely a good way to go because it does offer a little bit more comfort and a little bit more ruggedness as well. From what I understand about the mellow slides, this is actually a light ride, but it's not the same exact light ride. It is kind of like a hybrid light ride because it alludes to the entire shoe being like all light ride, including the upper across the top here, which I don't even know how that's possible. It's interesting because it does feel a little bit softer here than it does uh, here. So I I'm not really sure how they constructed this, but there's definitely different layers in the Echoes. One other thing to note about the Mellows versus these guys over here, the Echoes, is the overall fit across the top here is a little bit more snug than it is on these. So I don't know why that's the case. I think it's because this is obviously a size nine. This one's a size 10. And with that, there's gonna be some added like extra wiggle room, even though the sizing is a little bit mislabeled on the Mellows. But ultimately, I think that this area right here is just harder to get your foot on. And it's not terribly difficult, but this one's like super roomy and super easy to get your foot on. If you need like something for wide feet, then I would say the Echoes win again. So to break it down real quick again, like which is the better buy? More comfort, the Echoes. More ruggedness, the Echoes. More wide foot friendly, the Echoes. Customization with gibbets, the Echoes. More expensive, $10 more, the Echoes. But all in all, like if you try these on, these are some of the best slides on the market. I've tried you know, 40 different slides on the market. Now I've done a bunch of different comparison videos against other slides. And I would say that these are probably A tier. These are probably S tier. Like they're just that much more comfortable than the competition, including its own competition with what Crocs offers. But incredibly soft stuff. If you're wanting soft, squishy for your feet, these are definitely nice. I've tried the basic Crocs as well. Like the Crocs light slides, just the basic ones. I've also tried the light ride slides. Those ones have been good in the past. These are softer than all three of the other models that I've tried from Crocs 
alone. So very impressed with the product and what you get. If you guys actually wanna buy a pair of these, I'll link them in the description. You can use my link and it gives me a little bit of a kickback from your purchase, which definitely helps support this channel and lets me create more content like this. You can buy these ones as well. I'll link both of them down there in the description. So why would you choose the Mellows over the Echoes? Well, honestly, it just comes down to style and preference. If you want something nice, soft, squishy, and a little bit more stylish, I would say that this is definitely a little sleeker look, a little bit more stylish looking than this chunky little dude over here, the Echo. So style alone, I think this is a better looking slide. It's not as soft as the others, but comparison to most of the other slides on the market, this one is gonna be an excellent go-to for 50 bucks instead of the 60 for the other one. But again, for the reasons I already listed, this is a better slide in my mind. If I had to choose just one, for me it's easy with a wider foot, I would go with the Echoes time and time again. Very, very impressed again with what they created and I'm happy that I got a pair just to show you guys and hopefully you guys are interested in these type of videos. I know it seems super random, but anything footwear related I'm, I'm interested in. Technology and comfort and squishy feel and foams and stuff. It's just always exciting to me and I love to be able to create these videos and hopefully you guys enjoy them too. If you do, drop a like and if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. Again, if you guys want to buy any of them, link in the description. Hopefully you guys have a good rest of the day. Check out my other video that I have with all of the different slide comparisons as well. There's like 22 of them I think I do in one video. Pretty crazy, but have a good one. Hopefully we'll see you back on the channel for some more videos. All right, peace guys.